Hello everybody, today I'm showing you a journal I've put together using the products that I received recently from Queen of Craft and this is like the base of a journal it has no tags in it as yet or um, ephemera pieces as yet I will do that in a separate video um, so this is the basic journal what you would start with before adding any ephemera to it and I've used the beautiful butterfly paper from Queen of Craft and this was the cover of the paper pack and I've used that because it was so pretty um, and then I've just put this lovely vintage lace down the spine of the journal and used seam binding as a closure with some eyelets it is a soft cover journal and I've used like one full piece there and of course it's not big enough to go around the whole journal because the papers actually measure um, the papers actually measure seven by eight and a half and the journal is eight and a quarter by about five and a quarter and it's just a one signature journal and I've zigzagged all the way around and down the the join there as well it has fabric between the front cover and the inside cover just to help add a bit more strength to it and of course I've um, reinforced the spine of it as well with a bit of Tavec so this is the inside and I love these papers I had such fun playing around with these beautiful floral papers um, and so I've used them throughout the journal along with some digital prints that I had from GT Designs um, I'll also link that in the description box below also they're very colourful and I thought they complemented the Queen of Craft papers perfectly these are the botanical stickers I've just, you can see, I, you see the shine on that but how lovely does that just look, just placed there. I've put an antique doily piece in there. And I think that one came from Robin Osborne. Thank you, Robin. And I'll just go through it as that's just the joined paper there because that's the Queen of Craft paper joined with the digital printables. And that's the other side. These are the stickers from the ephemera pack from Queen of Craft. And I've used those randomly throughout the journal as well. And this is also the paper tape from Queen of Craft that I got in a previous design pack. I've just put some pa a piece of the paper on an angle there and that will be a tuck spot behind there. And once again, one of the botanical stickers. The papers are tea stained. I've used the lovely stamp stickers from Queen of Craft, once again coming from a previous design pack. I love the way it all coordinates together beautifully in this journal. And one of the current stickers from the ephemera pack, plus I used one of the beautiful roses stamps on this page as well. And they worked very well, although I do have to say, when I first stamped with them, I was using Distress Ink and it just did not work very well with the Distress Ink. So then I used the um, Pigment Ink and that worked perfectly. So I will be using Pigment Ink with those stamps because that's the best result I got and I just think it looks really pretty there. This is a piece of the Queen of Craft paper here and the digital printable around the edge of it too and they just I just love the look of it. I think it just looks lovely and this one I used some scallop scissors uh, these ones here creative memories scallop scissors just to give it a nice edge once again another piece of the papers from the ephemera pack another one of the stamp stickers and the stamps and that is from the B stamp kit which is let me see if, I can, if it's within reach here 
should be oh, this one here. Oh, it's a bit hard to see, isn't it? That uh, that one there. It'll be on my um, design team package video, but I will link all these products in the description box below that I've used anyway. On this page, I decided not to add another piece of paper, but I added this lovely trim, and I got that from Seriously Scrapping on Zibit, and I bought that quite some time ago now, but um, she may still have that, but I really like that. It's got a nice organza um, background to it. Uh, just an off cut of the papers. I just um, glued that on there with one of the stamps, and I just think that makes a little... Uh, focal point where you could write a special note in there and like I said more will be added to this journal this is just the basic base of the journal another one of the lovely botanical stickers one more of the beautiful papers aren't they lovely and because they're only single sided um, you could either ink the other side but I added like a tissue that you can write on. I have found, uh, where is it? Here it is, right behind me actually. A big roll of it, as you can see here, of this lovely, and it's aged. And so I use that for a lot of things. Um, and I just glued some of that on there, just using a glue stick, and then I stitched around it. Some more of the lovely stickers from the ephemera pack. And there we have the butterfly sticker from the B stamp set. Oh, not butterfly sticker, butterfly stamps. They're very delicate. They turn out really quite nice. A little tuck spot in there. And over the other side, I just sort of folded the paper over there and it made two tuck spots. One more of the botanical stickers and that's a paper bag. And another one of the sticker from the ephemera pack there. I have a little tux pocket tuck spot down the bottom here and that's just the off cut from this round piece I cut here. So that's where I cut it out. It goes all the way along to the other side. This is another one of the digital printables from GT Designs. I just I love the way they coordinate so nicely together. Lovely paper from Queen of Craft. And that's another trim I bought from Seriously Scrappin' some time ago now. It's so pretty, isn't it? Let's just put into the spine some more of the lovely stamps from Queen of Craft and another offcut of paper. That part there is the offcut of this circle here. And so I've put that there and that will be a pocket another one of the stamps that one's from the B stamp set as well I love that one it's so sweet really really sweet and then we come to the middle and I just have one of the digital printables here and I've left the ties here and what I've done is I've on one of the papers there was a paper full of little butterflies. So I cut a couple of them out and glued them on and folded them over. And then I just glittered their body a little bit. Um, I probably should have made them different lengths, but I didn't, I just never thought of that. So we have two little butterflies on our center part. And this is a pocket with some beautiful vintage lace across the top there and then going back we have very similar we have the other side of the cutout we have the other side of that lovely lace and that was just a little piece I had as well so I, I glued that on there the other side of that pocket on the bag and then we have a collage on that bag piece there with a lovely botanical sticker as well. We have a pocket here. And these collage pieces are stickers from the ephemera pack. And that page there. Butterfly stamp. I'll put 
a little bit of wash down here. It just the the join just looked a bit. There was nothing wrong with it. It just needed something extra, so I just popped in a little bit of washi tape there, and it lifted it. So I like that. Now this sticker I thought was a bit wide, so what I did was I cut one edge of it and I just popped it over that side there, and I think that worked quite well. The other side of this piece here. And there's that other little tuck spot there. And the rose stamp again. It's beautiful, isn't it? And this one. And that's just that paper tape. It's not a tuck spot or anything. It's just to add a bit of interest to the page. And then we come to the back again. Beautiful, beautiful doily. And there's the back of our um, page. I may have popped a bit. Oh no, I just it's fine. It's fine. That's just there um, to. I put a butterfly over there. That's where the back of the eyelet was. So I didn't want it was. You know, the backs can be a bit sharp sometimes. So I want to put something over it. And another one of beautiful botanical stickers on the back page there. And I really, really like this journal. And I'm looking forward to making the ephemera and things to go inside. I have started. So I can give you a little sneak peek of what the next video will involve. But only a little one because I've only just started. And where are they? Um, just a couple of tall skinny pockets that I've started making and these were inspired by a video I saw this morning from I think it's is it Susie from Creative Cafe Girl it could have been yesterday I'm not sure she had these utensil bags and I just made some with that same paper I just told you that tissue paper stuff um, and they're going to be going in here using the ephemera stickers and things like that to um, put in the journal but that will be the next video so um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing the journal base this time around I've really enjoyed working with these colors it's been it's been lovely um, and I'm going to enjoy making all the ephemera to go in that as well so I hope you'll join me again when I show the ephemera to go into this journal and we'll put it in together so thank you so much for watching and I like I said I'll put a link in the description box below to all the different products that I've used making this journal base so take care everybody bye